Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos and today I am working on this acrylic painting. I am painting on a wood panel and I actually started this piece sometime last year. I don't remember exactly why I stopped working on it. It was just one of those pieces that I kind of just pushed aside and I know we've probably all done that at some stage. Um, I mean one thing that did put me off working on this piece was that the um, proportions were slightly off and she wasn't entirely centered. Um, she was a little bit to the left and I wanted her centered and at the time I think I was just like uh, I can't be bothered to try and you know redo this um, only until now so what I did was I actually just put down a thin layer of white paint um, so I could still see the drawing but I fixed the drawing up and nudged it over to the right um, to make it centered. And then I started painting. The acrylic paints that I'm using for this piece are my Atelier Interactive um, Artist's Acrylic. I also use some Deri Derivan, I don't know how you say that, um, Matisse acrylic paint and also some Liquitex Basics. Um, these are the only acrylic paints that I own. Um, my favourite would definitely be the Atelier Interactive Paints. Um, in comparison to the, the Liquitex Basics, the Atelier are better quality. Um, I don't know if that's just me, um, but the Basics almost seem slightly kind of like watered down. Um, and I mean, I mean they're still okay paints, you know, they are cheaper, um, so if that's all you can afford then, you know, that's fine, and I know a lot of artists do use them, but I do notice the difference in quality with the Atelier, and also they are, um, you can reactivate them, so um, if they've started to dry on your palette, if you add water, they're going to kind of just go back to normal. Um, I mean, obviously you can't reactivate them when they're like really, really dry, um, but it is handy, you know, while you're working on a painting um, to be able to go back to a color that you um, may have been using a little while ago um, that started to dry up. So that's really handy as well. Um, the Matisse paints are also very good as well. Um, but yeah, I probably won't be buying the Liquitex Basics again. Um, I just bought them because I, I knew a lot of artists use them and they are cheaper, you know, so um, there is that plus as well, but I do prefer the quality of the Atelier, so I think I will stick with those or the Matisse ones. Um, so my idea for this piece um, was just a portrait of a girl with these kind of like cat buns in her hair. Um, I want it to be similar to the kind of like space bun style, but rather than just being buns, they were caps. Um, so it's kind of going along with that pop surrealist theme, um, and I thought it would make for a cute painting. Um, and I also decided to give the girl cat eyes to kind of just go along with that theme. Um, and as you can see here, I'm actually changing the background colour just because when I originally put down the um, the yellow. I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted the background colour to be, but I just wanted to cover it with something um, just so to make painting the rest of it a bit easier. Um, but what I did was I took a photo of the piece, put it into Photoshop, and then played around with some different background colours. And I decided on the dark blue so it could be kind of like a night sky. I know I've been doing that a lot lately. Uh, I don't know, I just like that look um, and I mean it worked well with this piece I feel like this piece has some kind of like witchy vibes to it especially with the cats you know cats are associated with witches um, and I just wanted to kind of go along with that um, so I thought the the night sky would work really well um, and I just realized there was another brand of acrylic paint that I was using for this piece and it is the Windsor & Newton Finity Artist Acrylic and these are some really old ones that I have so it could just be because they're really old um, but when I was using the 
purple. Um, for some reason, like the paint just kept separating on the panel. It was really strange. Um, once I put down the kind of more like light purple colour, the Moby colour that her hair actually is now, um, it kind of stopped doing that, like once I added more layers. But I think it's just because the paint is old, like I don't think this paint would do it if it was like brand new. Um, yeah, it's really old paint and I should probably uh, get some newer paints in the colours that I need for that, but this is what I had at the time and I haven't gone to go get a purple colour yet. Um, but I might have to just because, yeah, I really did notice it separating and it wasn't fun to use. Like, it made some areas a bit rough and that kind of thing, so... Yeah, paint can get bad over time. Um, and yeah, I really like this um, light blue kind of outline I did around her. It's supposed to be kind of like backlight, um, and I think it just really brings out like the cats at the top in her hair, just because it is dark in the background at the top. Um, I didn't want her to kind of fade too far into that, so that highlight kind of just brings her forward. Um, and then for her hair, I painted this in the style of my um, ink and watercolour pieces, so it's very line heavy. Um, I don't know, I didn't really have any reasoning for this, I don't know, I felt like it would just go well. Um, and I didn't really feel like doing too much shading to the hair, I thought I'd just leave it like this. Um, and I think it works well, um, you kind of have like the different textures in this piece. I mean the piece is quite flat but with the hair you have a lot of lines and near the end when I add the stars in the background you have all these spots so it's kind of like a good um, juxtaposition of you know patterns. So here you've got all the spots and then you've got the stripes. Um, and yeah after doing some finishing touches I add a little bit of pink to her cheeks and that's pretty much it. So thank you all for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.